Hello, 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 hi, and good morning, and welcome to Awakening the Force Yoga with me, Cecily Guest. I hope you all are feeling great out there on this Wednesday morning. That's what it is for us here in California, and the air is finally getting clearer. Yes, no, yes, just like a little bit. I think we got one more day, and then the weather pattern is going to clear it out, and it's going to be so so wonderful. Well, my name is Cecily Guest, and if you are watching this video on YouTube, you're going to see it on uh, YouTube as Yogi Cecily, so if you're looking for me there, all of these videos end up on YouTube, so you can go back and find them, and then you can go forward and back. And then if you're looking for something like a little bit more alignment-based or Iyengar-based, you want to hop on over to Instagram, and on Instagram, I'm Cecily underscore Yogi. Thank you so very much for joining me. This is a donation-based yoga class. And you can make your donations at Venmo.com slash Cecily dash guest. So that's all going to be good and work out for us as well. Now, this is the morning yoga, and I always start with some sort of intention or something for us to think about. And I've been talking a lot to folks about um, compassion lately. And I get around to the topic of compassion always by awareness of self, like uh, awareness of, well, just how hard it is for us to do some of the things that we're doing. I think uh, we lose compassion when we look out in the world and we will say things like this. We've all said things like that, like, ah, that idiot person, don't they realize that blah, 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 you know, don't they realize that the co coffee cup needs a lid, you know? Um, and I have learned that people don't always realize things. <laughs> it's not that they don't know, it's just that there's other things clouding their minds, you know, and that, that can be anger, that can be ignorance. I'm not making excuses for people. I just know that I've been in a situation where people will say, don't they know, or isn't it easy, or, or do this, do that. It's so easy. And I've, especially lately with COVID, I've been in situations where I'm looking at people, I'm going, no, not easy. No, easy for you, not easy for me, right? So that, I sit with that, and that has helped me sort of understand Compassion is sometimes, at the least, letting people make their own discoveries. So let's say it is the ignorance of racism. I can say all of the words. I can post all of the memes. I can get on comment boards. I, I can become angry. I can become disappointed. Um, at the end of the day, they'll make their own discovery for better or, or worse. And it's those discoveries that really make life more refined. Your, your life, it makes your life more refined. When you, when you discover things on your own, your life is more refined. When people tell me how to do something, and I, it's what I call chasing the dragon's tail. When I'm, when I'm chasing the dragon's tail, people are telling me how to do something. I might get it and I might learn it, but the learning is less refined. So that's just something I wanted to bring to today's class. I don't have a reading, but the, the thought for today is compassion, developing compassion through self-awareness right, through self-awareness. We're not perfect, and so no one else is either. <laughs> All right, then we go on to breathing in the morning classes. So today I want to explore our exhale. Exhaled uh, breathing pranayama I think are the most difficult, so we're going to try this. And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale, we're gonna exhale big, real big exhale. Then we're gonna stop. And then we're gonna to continue to exhale five times. One, two, three, four, five. So I wanna do the motion with my hand. I wanna show you what the motion is with my hand. So you can see what it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Right? 
So the big breath I do through my mouth, diaphragmatic breathing, and all the other ones are through the nose. You want to try it? This one's kind of weird. So I always think exhaled breath breathing patterns are a little difficult and a little strange, but let's try it. So place your hands where you're comfortable. And here we go. Then breathe normally. I want to do that, believe it or not, I want to do that four more times. Then you see how you feel, okay? So here we go. And then breathe normally. Here we go, third time. Inhale. Breathe normally. Yeah, maybe move some things around, move around, get relaxed. We got two more. Here we go. Inhale. Breathe normally. Good, good, good. Right, we got one more time doing this very excellent pranayama pattern. So here we are. We're going to inhale. Breathe normally, and we got one more to go. I hope this is working for you. Here we go. Inhaling. And then breathe normally. All right, great. I've been sitting with my right foot on top of my left. I'm going to go ahead and change and put my left on top of my right and get all comfy on this side. Okay, great. Let's just inhale, exhale, twist, right? Inhale, exhale, twist, right? Inhale, exhale, twist, left. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale, twist, right? Inhale, exhale, twist, left. I want to do one more. Inhale, exhale, twist, right? Inhale, exhale, twist, left. Great, great, great. Take your hands behind you, lift your ribs, inhale. Exhale, walk it forward to the elbows. Nice, easy, breezy. We're going to do two more. Take it back, back, back. Inhale. So good. Exhale, take it forward. And one more. Back, back, back. Inhale. And exhale, take it forward. Nice. Okay, we got to switch legs one more time. Right foot on top or in the front. And we're going to twist and breathe, okay? So inhale, exhale, left side. Inhale, exhale, right side. Four more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale, exhale, left. And inhale, exhale, right. So good. Good. Deep breathing. Good breathing, gang. Hands behind. Inhale. Oh, that's the good one. Exhale, way forward. Good. And back. Mm-hmm, and forward, mm, back, and, 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 and forward. Good stuff. All right, so we come out of that. I'm going to come off of my block. See, I got behind me. I got my orange behind me getting ready for fall. I've got my blanket with a little bit orange and red. I should turn it the other way, like getting ready for fall, like fall colors. I want to go back to a twisting and binding and bending program for today. We will get in sun salutes, but uh, what I like to do in the morning is get you all going with some drills. So we're going to start with the feet out in front, big toes together, ankles together, and we're going to swivel or toggle the legs right to left. I think this type of motion is one of the best motions for your breathing and for your digestion. So for the breathing, you see it's pushing the air around into the right and left lobes. And then for your abdominal, it's getting you into your TVA, transverse abdominis. It's great for the spine, it's good for my scoliosis, so you sort of 
not only twisting the spine, but also squeezing into a little bit the oblique abdominals, so that's good for me, scoliosis. Massages the nucleus in the vertebrae, of the spine. Mm. Give me one more left and one more right. Good, good, good. Now we're just gonna lie down on the right side body mm -hmm. and do a whole lot of leg lifts. <laughs> up and up and up. So this is what I call a lateral and twisting and side and, and binding program. So why is that? Because especially if you're sitting at your desk, uh, everything is forward and we actually don't do enough back bending. We actually maybe need to add some back bending to this program today. Uh, and not as much forward fold. Usually if we practice yoga, uh, everything is a forward fold. Downward dog is a forward fold, forward fold, chair pose, uh, seated, touching the toes. Everybody's trying to always, always, always open their hamstrings. But I have discovered that if you at least once a week don't do that and do all of this kind of side lateral, um, Hmm, your hamstrings sort of automatically open. These are big leg circles, eight of them and seven. Inhale, exhale, and six. Inhale, exhale. Now also, just a word out to the guys out there. Some, uh, some of the guys don't do some of these, um, you know, like floor exercises or Jane Fonda style exercises. Give me two more. And uh, what I want to kind of put to you, give me one more here, uh -huh, and then we're going to take that leg up and hold it in the stretch. Uh, what I want to put to you here is that if you open up the hip socket, think of, think of your hip as an entire round socket, you're going to maybe get more out of your hamstring, okay? So let's come on onto the other side. Oh no, let's go through the center. Let's do the one in the center again. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's take 12 of these. 12, center, 11. See, I'm exhaling on the twist, but you could do the breath the other way. And if you do this on your own, I recommend changing that breath pattern. I think I'll change it now. Here's my exhale. I'm going to keep the exhale. And here's my inhale now. And here's my exhale. Is one way harder for you? Is it harder to inhale on the twist and then exhale, inhale on the twist, exhale? Definitely something to think about, right? Inhale, exhale, inhale. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to lie down on the left side and do our leg lifts. Good. So, right. So the tighter you think your body is, the more you need to think of the shape of the joint and not just the long muscles, right? So we tend to just, uh, we go to the gym, the gyms are open, we go to the gym, I see a lot of people in the gym, and they're stretching their hamstrings, and again, this is, you know, uh, especially the guys, I see you with the bands and the tubing and things, and you're stretching your hamstrings, that's good. And then I see a really good quadricep and hip flexor stretches, all good, that's good. But uh, then I'll look in the bar class and there's like 180 women and one guy, <laughs> not 180, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, what I wanna encourage some of the men to do is you have to understand that we're, we're addressing the entire hip socket. On the one hand, this is a strengthening exercise, but you know, the more you strengthen here, the more the inner thigh will open, yes? And here come the big leg circles, eight, way up and up and up, and seven. And I don't know about you, but us this morning, we might feel that, we might feel that six, that if we sort of a little bit burn the socket, four more, four, burn the socket, burn the joint, three, then the stretching the hamstring feels good, it feels very welcome, and the hamstring is a little bit more open, and one, so here I'm gonna hold on to that. So this is just my very simple way of kind of explaining something that happens neurologically, physiologically. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go to Upavishta Konasana. It's proprioception. 
right? We're going to swim forward. So here's your forward fold and open. But because the legs are split wide, this forward fold, you feel the inner thigh stretching, not just the hamstring. Inhale, exhale. Yeah, good. Keep it going. Inhale, exhale. Give me four more. Four. Breathe, breathe. Three. And two. And one. Okay, we're going to stay down in the forward fold. Now, if you're out there and you're feeling, mm, you know, I'm already flexible, I don't feel these stretches, I don't get it, mm, that, that makes sense. Folks who are typically already very flexible, there's just not a lot to do here. But that's okay. And that's also why we want to do these side and lateral and binding programs is because some of us, the hamstring is open, and so there's just not much to do in these types of positions. Let's get into the oblique abdominals and go side to side. Here's eight and center, and seven, okay? If your legs are pulling, if they're pulling and rolling, six, just let that happen. Trust me, trust me, just, just, just go with the flow. Five, don't even worry about that. Four, that's gonna go away one day. Three, Trust me, it's gonna go away from you one day. Two, let's go all the way left and one, and then we're gonna go all the way right, put the right elbow down, down, down on the ground, circle your left arm, eight and seven and six, just wake it up, just wake it up, five. You can keep going the same way, four, or you could reverse it, three, two, and one, good. Come back up center, take it all the way to the left, Put the left elbow all the way down, way down, way down. You can do it, boom, boom, right there. And big circle arms. Here is the secret. It's not just your hamstrings that are tight. Mm -mm -mm. There's some other stuff that's tighter. Four more, three more. And if you can't get your elbow on the floor, two, that's not your hamstring's fault. <laughs> and a one, good, good. I want to row a boat right to left. We're going to row and row, or you're also making pizza dough, <laughs> right, with a rolling pin. Roll out and exhale, roll out, roll out, get vigorous, vigorous, roll out. I want you really vigorous. Eight, eight more, seven, mm, moving, six, mm, and five, right, four. We should start to feel the center body, three, all of this working, two, and one, and then I just want to relax in the forward fold again. Great. Some of you, your forehead or your chin can go all the way to the ground. And some folks need block. And if you don't have a block, just put your chin on your hands. Just like that. Good. Breathe. Just breathe. Wake your body up. This is awakening the force. Morning practice. And... You recall, I'm always saying to you all in the morning that we want to wake the body up. We want to we wanna give it a chance. Just give it a chance to wake up and not ask so much of it. Mm -hmm. Roll back on your back. Give your knees a hug. Great. Now, I'm going to scooch a little bit towards you. These are um, legs to the side. These are twisting the legs. So you're on your back. Let's go ahead, twist your legs towards me. It's to your left. Exhale and center, and to your right, mm -hmm. and center, keep that going, to the left, I'm going to scooch around a little bit, and to the right, there we go, that's going to be good for me, and let's do four more, four more to the left, exhale, but you can breathe the other way, and to the right, you can try, you can try reverse breathing, mm-hmm, mm. -hmm. Mm, and to the left, see, exhale. Hear that ujjayi breath. And to the right. Good, 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 good. And center. Place your feet down on your mat, on your blanket. Push your hips up. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to pulse up, 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 and up, 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 and up, 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 and up, up. Up, we're gonna get into the glutes. So getting into the glutes opens the hip flexor. Up, 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 and up, up, up. 
give this eight more is eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Okay. Now I want to do something called the can opener. The legs come in. Your right foot crosses over your left knee. See that? Good. This right foot is going to come all the way down to the floor towards you. And you see the right knee is high. Yikes. Whoa, do you feel that? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, in the can opener, when you do this stretch, a lot of people think that this knee should come in, but it's the opposite of that. The left hand pushes that knee away. See where I'm pushing that away? And see the way it's hooked over this knee? I'm actually trying to bring this knee in closer. So what would be your left knee comes closer and your right knee goes further away. Take your right hand back and then twist away from me. Breathe. Three. Right, so this is just what I'm calling like burn the joint, right, two. And you feel some unusual things on the side, backside, inside of your hip socket. And uh, one, great. Come back to the center. Mm -hmm. And bridging up, we do this again. Up, 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 great. When we finish this whole section here, then we're gonna move on to sun salutes, and we're gonna see how our hamstrings and how our forward folds feel. At the least, we're warming the body up and not always attacking the hamstring first. That's, uh, sometimes I think the body feels like we're attacking it. Like, hey, get up, come on, do these stretches. That's eight more, seven, six, and five, four, and three, two and one, great. So we're gonna do the can opener on the other side. This is your left foot crosses over your right, see? And the right knee pulls in. Now the left foot goes to the ground away from you. It's going away from you. Then I'm gonna take a moment and try to pull my right knee in closer, push the left knee away and then twist towards me. Do you feel it? Like what is that even? Is that even a muscle? It just feels like one big knot. Breathe, three, two. It's not quite IT band. You're in that tensor fascia latte area. Breathe, push this knee away. You see how this knee wants to fall in? Push it away. And a one. Excellent. Okay, let's roll forward sitting up. I liked it. That was really good. I'm gonna get rid of my blanket. And let's go to downward facing dog. Right on, right on. Woo, downward dog and pedal pushers. Oh, that feels good. All right. Well, how does your body feel after doing some of that lateral work? Uh, I want to go back to some of it from downward facing dog. So this is a twisted dog. Your right hand goes over to your left ankle. There's, there it is, there, there she blows. I don't know, I became a captain all of a sudden. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go to a plank pose, inhale, and then the left hand goes to the right. Oh, push away. I wanna do six more of these. Six, exhale, twist, and five. Exhale, twist, and four. Exhale, twisting out, and three, exhale, twisting out, and two more, two, exhale, twist, and one, inhale, exhale, oh, nice, nice, nice twist, good, downward facing dog, excellent, take your right foot forward, mm -hmm. you're going to bend into the right leg, and then straighten it, exhale, just two more of these, bend, so there's your hip flexor opening, and then push back, exhale, and one more bend, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and push back, exhale, wonderful, prasarita parottanasana, twisting in prasarita, put your left hand down and your right arm goes up, is eight, down and center, and seven, and center, oh good, good, six, and center, and five. Keep this going, four more. Breathe, and four, extend the arm, and three, get very vigorous, 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 and two, twist, 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 oh yes, and one, twist, twist, 
twist. Great, and down, good. Turning to the left. Downward facing dog, inhale and exhale. Some pedal pushers, right on. That feels good, wonderful. Move your shoulders around. Right, good. You can always do more. Remember, you're at home, so if you want to lift a leg or open your toes, just really get nice and fluid there. Hmm. Now the left hand's going to go to the right ankle, twist. And then a plank pose, plank, inhale and exhale. Back, twist, inhale, exhale, back, twist, five. That's right. And four. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, push back one. Great. See how unique that feels? We're going to bend the knees and bring the left foot forward. Bend the left knee. There's your hip flexor stretch. Push back. There's the left hamstring stretch. Two more times. Bend in the front. Gets the right hip flexor. And then straighten. And one more. Bend. Hip flexor stretch. Feels good. Feels good. And push back. Straighten. Prasarita Padottanasana. Great. This is skating. Skating. So you, you might have done something like this in like an aerobics class, in a low, low impact aerobics class or for a warm up. And we're going to add the arms. So here's the twist and twist and twist and eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right side, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Woo, nice. Walk your hands back to your feet. Yeah. Take what I call a monkey's pose or a flat back squat. You're going to bend the knees. See, I get my hands out in front. Bend. Inhale, exhale, straighten. Walk your hands out to plank. I call this a frog. Push back and tap your forehead to the ground, but not your knees. Come back to plank. Walk your hands back to your feet. Mm -hmm. Flat back squatting. See, the fingers stay on the floor. I'm not sitting my buttocks down to my heels. I'm, I'm not coming down here. I want a nice flat back, almost lifted position with the ribs forward. I straighten out the legs forward fold. Walk out to plank, inhale. Mm -hmm. Bend the knees back to what I call frog. And back to plank, inhale. We're going to do all of this two more times. Straight legs, forward fold. I'm going to start to get a little bit more of a hamstring stretch. Flat back, lift the ribs, look forward. You can take the arms away if you like. And then straight legs, forward fold. Walk out plank, inhale. Mm -hmm. Take your frog. Inhale, plank. Walk back one more time, straight legs, forward fold. Hug down if you like. Flat back, squatting. Straight legs, forward fold. This will set you up really good for a crow. If you're working on crow, this is a nice sequence for folks trying to develop and condition for crow. And then we're back in a frog, and then back in a plank, and downward facing dog. Good on you. OK, from your downward facing dog, take your right leg, lift. Oh, bend it in the air and make circles. So here we are again, kind of thinking about burning the socket, right? Not always just immediately opening the hamstring, trying to get into the hip socket. Four more. You can reverse the circle if you like. Sure, why not? Three, two. Mm -hmm. And one. Good. Step the right foot forward. Straight legs. Both legs straight in staggered stance. Staggered stance splits. And we're going to bend the front knee into a nice and long lunge. And then straighten. Staggered stance. Hamstring stretch. Good. Bend. 
and straighten. We're gonna do this once more and bend. Inhale, exhale, and straighten. Prasarita Padottanasana. We are skating is skate and skate. Skate and skate. Give it eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left side, downward facing dog. Awesome. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet, big toes and ankles together. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, press back down, 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 draw down, draw down. We're gonna make a chair pose, a high chair, a high chair, Utkatasana. Lift, look up. Stand all the way up to back bending, exhale, forward fold. Walk all the way out to plank. Lower the body down, down, down. Belly touch the floor. It's a cobra pose, so my elbows and my hands go forward. I leave the legs lying down and lift the ribs up and away, and it's downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, big toes and ankles together. Draw down. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, back down, 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 down. It's the chair pose. Ood katasana. Up. Yes. Then standing with a little bit of a back bend if you like, and exhale forward fold. Nice. Walk out plank. Sure. Lower your body all the way down. Send your hands and your elbows forward. Cobra up. And downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. We're going to do this two more times. Walk the hands back to the feet. Look halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, draw down high. Yeah, high lower back, high hamstrings. It's good. It's the chair pose, Utkatasana. Up we go. Then we stand up to a bit of a back bend. And forward fold, nice. Walk out to plank. Breathe, lower the body down. Yes, yes, yes. Hands and elbows forward. Lift up the ribs. Way up. Open your throat. And downward facing dog. Great. Push up. Last one. Walk your hands back to your feet. Yeah. How's it feeling? This is all starting to open up, I hope. Look halfway up. Press back down. Chair pose, ooh, katasana. Nice high chair. I like, to, I like to go up a little bit higher sometimes. Go ahead and let the back arc. Then standing up into a back bend. Oh, that opens you up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk out to plank and lower the body. Yeah, send the elbows forward. There it is. And downward facing dog, great. That was so good. Okay, now we're here, the left leg is going to lift. Bend it in the air. And you're making knee circles, eight of them. And seven, and you can alternate your direction or get as big and wild as you like, five. Just let that socket work, four. And three. And two and a one. Good, 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 good. Now lift your right leg. Step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Take your right arm up, twist up towards me. Big twist. And then both hands down. Drop the left knee. Take your right arm up again. Twist up. This right hand is going to hold on to the left foot. And there's a twisting here. Now I go for an inside grip, and I'm going to lean away from you and twist and look up. Three, two, so there's a twist, but also the quad stretch. And one, release the foot, bring both elbows down to the ground. Mm. Yeah, you did, yeah, you can. <laughs> Bring those elbows down, breathe. Three, and a two. 
Listen carefully, because we're getting all side lateral body and one. So you're gonna lie down on the left side of your body and bring this right foot in. See how I did this? So I'm actually just lying down on the side of my body. Mm -hmm. And you're going to bring this arm all the way now to the front, see the rotation in this foot. And maybe, maybe, maybe your elbows can get down to the ground. So it almost feels like the can opener stretch. It almost feels the same as, as that outside hip stretching. See, this foot is turned out like a ballet dancer. Great, great, great. And let's go into a side plank from here. So push up, 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 stack your feet. Push the hips higher, 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 and open the top arm. Five, four, three, and two, and one. Downward facing dog, great. Left leg lift. Step your left foot forward, lunge. Great, stand all the way up facing me. And we're gonna go to the right side, downward facing dog. Awesome. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Exhale, forward fold. Plank, chaturanga, vinyasa, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. There we go. There's our vinyasa. And downward facing dog. Great. Two more times that. Walk your hands back to your feet. Breathe. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Mm -hmm. Exhale, forward fold. Walk out to plank. Chaturanga Vinyasa, sure. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward dog, exhale. Great, 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 great. Once more, walk it back. Stand all the way up, inhaling, nice back bending. Exhale, forward fold. Walk out to your plank, breathing, inhaling. Lower the body all the way down and upward facing dog. Feels good, nice strong legs. Can you believe? Strengthen your legs and upward dog and then downward facing dog. It is so good and awesome. Okay, left leg lift, step forward. Oh, sorry, right leg lift, step forward into your lunge. Mm-hmm, and come on up and over because I left out your staggered stance splits on the left side. So let's come on over there. And we have the bend here and push back straighten. Yeah, and bend here. I wanna get all of those good hamstring stretches in there and straighten. The more you stretch your hamstring in the morning, the better, oh, the better performance you'll get in your afternoon classes. And push back, yeah, because you do yoga twice a day. Yeah, you do. And then let's stand all the way up and over. Take another chaturanga vinyasa on the right side. Yeah, you do. You know you do all that. Oh, we gotta work out. And downward facing dog, okay, great. Left leg is gonna lift. Go on the outside of the left hand. Mm -hmm. Drop your right knee, circle the left arm up. Let's circle it up and go back and grab the right foot. Exhale. Go for your inside grip. Yeah, now, after you grip the foot, there's this kind of leaning away and twisting while you're also pulling the foot in. Three, two, so this is a real, a real pretzel-y pretzel type of position and one, then we're gonna relax the foot. Good, take this arm up and down and both elbows down, cause we can. Some folks will call these the lizard lunges. But you see the pronounced knee way up. And then look what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna roll all the way onto my side body, take this foot and slide it, bring it in with me. So really you're just lying on your side with this knee bent, yeah? Then turn the foot out, bring your torso around facing me and drop both elbows down here. Breathe, three and two, 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you can grab that foot. Sure, of course we can one day. And one. Awesome. Coming out of that, let's go to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Well, we've got just the right amount of time to kind of get all of the twisted standing poses in. So to do that, lift your right leg. Step your right foot forward, lunge. Stand all the way up and over to the left, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhale, exhale. Upward facing dog. Mm -hmm. And downward dog. Your right leg is going to lift and step your right foot forward, lunge a little bit. Step in, this is Parj Votanasana, forward fold over staggered stance. Take the arms over your back. Or you can do a reverse prayer or use blocks, of course. Stretch way down here. See, now you're going to open that hamstring way down to, it should be opening fully for you now. And one hands down. Adjust your feet for the rotated triangle pose. Adjust your hips and rotate the ribs up. Breathe. Twist. Listen. These poses, all of them are going up. Nothing's, nothing's trying to go down. Can you believe the higher you think these poses are going, the more you can twist and you really see the expansion of the pose. Chaturanga Vinyasa, please. Mm -hmm. And upward facing dog, downward facing dog. It's going to be your right leg again. The right leg is going to lift and step to the middle of the mat. Push your body weight forward like you're going to make warrior three, and now make this the twisted half moon. Rotated half moon pose. So you have to set it up, find your balance. Everything's going up, 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 up. Three, rotate, lift, lift. Two, you feel it the more you try to lift. And one, great, chaturanga vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhale. Open that IT band this morning, downward facing dog, exhale. Great, left leg lift, step the left foot forward, lunge. Stand all the way up, over, right side, chaturanga vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhaling, of course, and down dog, exhale. So left leg's gonna lift, it's going to step forward a little. It's not a full lunge. Staggered stance. Parjvotanasana. Staggered stance. Forward fold over the straight leg. Taking the arms over your back. Breathing. Stretching, stretching, engaging. Breathe three. So you get the arms way over your back. Two. Opens up your shoulder. And one, hands to the ground. Reposition your hands and your feet for a rotated triangle pose right on. That means your right hand goes to the outside of the left foot. Look at how the pose comes up so that you can twist. It's almost like watching something uh, um, unfurl, right? Just unfurling. Then it's easier to open your throat and see the sky, too, because you, you're going up on the pose. And a one, great. Chaturanga Vinyasa. We're doing it. We're almost done. Upward facing dog, inhaling. Downward facing dog, exhale. Good on you, all right? Left leg again. Left foot is gonna lift. It's gonna step forward a little. It's not a lunge. You're gonna rock your body weight forward like you're gonna do warrior three. And then change this to the rotated half moon. See, mm. this, uh, this work is, is no joke. You know, I mean, these poses, you really feel your musculature having to engage. Three, so this is strength training, two. Yes, 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 and one, chaturanga vinyasa. Because we can. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhale. All we got to do is a rotated lunge now, downward dog, right leg lift, 
Step your right foot forward. Stand all the way up high and to the left side. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhaling. So good. Downward dog, exhale. Mm -hmm. Right leg, it's going to be your right leg, is going to lift and step forward into a low lunge. Great. Relax your arms over your back. Let your head and shoulders bow down. Hold, hold the slacking lunge. It's not really slack. The legs aren't slack, but the upper body is very slack, very relaxed. And breathe deep. Mm -hmm. And take your right hand, put it on your right hip, and reach your left arm forward. Cut the left arm across the right leg and you're in your twisted prayer. Match the palms, twist away. Three. Twist away. Two. Yep, 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 yep. And one. Awesome. We're going to stay on this side and change this to pigeon pose. Pigeon with the right foot forward. So that's just a little soft change in the front leg. And then look how I'm doing my pigeon. I always walk it back. I always send it back. Send it back into the rear leg. Push up like you're doing upward facing dog. Make sure the right foot is out in front. Push up. Push up. Three, push up. Two, and one, and then take your forward fold. Mm -hmm. Could be on your elbows, could be forehead down. You'll figure out what's right for you. The main thing, though, is that this foot is forward. Out in front with you, not tucked back. It's forward, out in front with you. Okay, good. Let's go to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, roll out and step back. Your left leg is gonna lift and step forward, lunge. Stand all the way up and over, almost done for the day. This is it, we're on the right side. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Upward facing dog, inhale, yes, down dog, exhale. And it's the left foot. The left foot is going to lift and step forward into a low lunge. So that foot steps all the way forward. Hmm. And see what we're doing here is just relaxing the torso, relaxing the arms. It's a balance. Relax your gaze down. You feel your left shoulder is resting on your left thigh near the knee. It's, you're really just resting your torso on the legs so the legs can do their work of support. Now, take the left hand, put it on your left hip, stay low, reach your right arm forward so you're nice and low. Then carry the right elbow over and you're in your twisted lunge. Twist away, breathe. Breathe. It is a balance. Feel, feel. Your body loves twisting. Gets all of those side fascia, just so many different areas of the body. Good, and go down. And now we're going to leave the left foot forward and take it into a pigeon pose, a pigeon position. You lay the knee down, keep the foot in the front, and send the right leg back. Now hands like Hands like upward dog, push up, push up, way, 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 push up. Take a breath and then bring the torso down in the front. You can rest on your elbows, you can take your arms forward or out to the sides, no big deal. Again, it's morning practice so you feel it anyway. There's no reason in the morning to go, to go past uh, you know, to, to go and grab and get more out of a pose. It's just enough. See, again, I think sometimes the body thinks we're attacking it. So in the morning, we want to we want to sort of say to the body, no, 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 not attacking you. You know, this is pigeon pose, and we're not going to make a big deal out of it. Great, rolling out of there. Roll back onto your back. Give your knees a hug. 
Okay, I'm feeling my hips. I'm really feeling my hips, glutes, waist muscles. Feels good. Back on your back. Hmm. Both legs go up, inhale. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the right calf, let the left leg fall, give a nice right leg hamstring stretch. See there, so now we're just kind of going in to the forward positions. Usually I start with things like this. Reclining pigeon, the right ankle crosses over the left knee. Both hands out wide, both arms go around the back side. Draw in, pull in. Mm -hmm. The left leg goes up straight, kind of keep your tailbone and your sacrum nice down and flat. Take a breath and bring your nose and your forehead up to the right shin. Mm -hmm. And release. Awesome. Bring both knees in. Please roll forward, forward fold stretch. I don't know, maybe it goes a little bit lower. I can feel that I didn't do as much in my hamstrings and my lower back, but actually it feels good. See, sometimes it feels good to feel uh, a little stiff in my back, because then I'm aware, right? Our idea today was compassion through awareness. See, so when it's a little bit stiffer, I'm aware, like, oh, okay, I need to do a little bit of myofascial release there. Good, roll back on your back, give your knees a hug again. Both legs up, hold on to the left calf, let the right leg fall, give the left leg a stretch in. Right, you can go for more, but I would say what you wanna really focus on is this, this leg, the low leg staying long. Sometimes it bends, but uh, instead of pulling the high leg to you, Try to press the low leg to the ground. Three, two, stretching, 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 and one, good. Left ankle over right knee, reclining pigeon, both arms wide, both arms around the outside. Pull in. Oh, my, my, my. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders, pull in. Mm. <laughs> Mm, so good, good straight legs forward fold. Right, this one's better. <laughs> this one's better, a little bit deeper. And come on up, all right. Let's get yourself set up for Shavasana if you wanna roll all the way back on your back. I'm gonna turn around, face the other way. I'm gonna come back here. Roll back on the back, but you can stay where you are. Here's your Shavasana. If there's some other stretch that you want or need, goodness gracious, definitely take it. Spend some time here thinking about the rest of your day, how to be aware. You're aware of yourself, even if you're angry, even if you're just feeling disappointed, you're feeling like uh, things are getting away from you. Just take a moment and know that uh, other people, it's, it's maybe even worse for them. I'm gonna roll forward, sit up, and I'm gonna start to close out the class for today. Mm, this is the Gayatri chant. Om Pubhuva Suvaha Tat Savitu Bargo devasya dimahi diyo yo no racho dayat om. The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you, and for that we say namaste. Thanks, and have a great day.